All right, master designers. Tonight, we're gonna draw the Sanistras, all of them. And we're gonna first start off with the first wrestler that was ever revealed on Thumb Wrestling Federation. We're gonna draw a flashback. Known fact, um, this guy, he does know how to wrestle, but uh, he's so blinded by flashbacks of his past that he doesn't even realize that he's wrestling. It's like a memory of Roger. All right. Next wrestler we're gonna draw is Captain Carpel. He's a pirate. Org. He has a parrot named Polly. All right, next thumb wrestler is season five wrestler known as the Black Knight. My favorite. It was Knight against Machine on that episode where. Unit 19G fought against the Black Knight. He even used one of his own teammates as a horse. He has all the weapons a knight has. I wish we would have seen more of the Black Knight. There's the Black Knight. Booyah! What time is it? The big time! That's what we're gonna draw next. He's seen it to move. The time bomb gets the crowd up in a frenzy. He's taking on bigger chumps than me. Oh, that thing's a 12.
Next up is En Fuego. Uh, my least favorite wrestler. He has the elements of fire and he's always winning. There's nothing exciting in these matches anymore when he's around. Sure, he has a signature move known as the Forbidden Dance. I don't know why it's called that. It must be a thing in Mexico. I even thought of this brother. Finished. Up next, Billy Bat Boy. This guy is one confused thumb. He does so hard to be scary, and uh, he has a uh, Bats named Leatherwing. He summons him up into battle by shouting out the words, Leatherwing, I summon thee! And he thinks he's actually a bat. He looks like one of my favorites. Up next is Chico Rojo. He's Senator Skull's right-hand man. And I wish we would have seen him in the ring more. I wanted to see what kind of uh, carnage he'll bring into the arena. I want to see him fight off against Milty the Clown, Hometown Huck, Finny Vinny Victory, just a few suggestions and a few orders and requests. That's just what I wanted to ask uh, Trevor Licky. Will you add Chico Rojo into one to the into the arena? Here is his partner, the Laughing Looney. I wish he was also seen in the ring more. He's constantly laughing and constantly irritating.
Next up, the Scorchian. Even though he was seen in the desert and raised there as well, he's got the powers of a scorpion. And has a stinger for a finger. Otherwise known as the uh, Thigon Stinger. There. That takes care of the Scorpion. Up next, the Visitor. Found from... This guy is from a distant planet. And well, only the Sin only the Sinistras know for sure if he's from a distant planet. And well, he has a flying saucer. Next up is Erg, a Trevor Leakey exclusive character. Definitely one of my second favorites. I mean, one of my best favorites from uh, one of Tre Trevor Lickie's best Thumb Wrestling Federation, uh, how he would have made it specials. Erg is a zombie. Up, big bad Billy Gotetsky. One of my favorite horn headed wrestlers. I didn't get to see him as much in the ring. And I know he uh, tasseled with lots of other wrestlers like Mr. Extremo. James Montgomery Flag and Cleet Cunningham. Here are his horns. up Muggsy Thumbscrew you better report this guy to the cops he's wanted in every state he even spray painted my pencil gold and in case he's in a jam he has his own personal bodyguards to back him up even though that's considered cheating
he has this uh, black hat like Saturn. The only two fights he lost were against uh, Danny Kaboom, Hometown Huck, and Gil. Next up is Rolf the Reaper. A guy that looks just like Senator Skull. Rolf the Reaper had his own uh, tragic life. Well, even though he was the youngest on his family. Plus, um, he sees the darkness in everything. Not cool. I bet he even laughs at old people on the streets. And dead people. And funerals. There we go. Next up is none other than this guy's name is Snaggle Fangs. He is he's a monster with a ravenous appetite. <clears throat> and he mauled down just about anything, including concrete and metal. And he always goes like eight, 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 eight! Trust me, victory never tasted so delicious. He looks like a piranha. There we go. Next up, we're gonna draw up. The Nether Beast. He's way scarier than Snagglefangs. Like he could bring a man's conscience to life and uh, he enjoys scaring people. And his trigger move is none other than the Fear Toxin. Ah, 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 ah. Face my fear toxin, Dexteras! <laughs> Alright, shut up, Nether Beast. Now we draw his horns. He doesn't even wear a mask. The next wrestler is none other than the next wrestler's name is Sir Serpent. He may be a monster underneath, but he's actually a serpent royalty. He doesn't fight unless someone else starts. Only strike when you're hit first. He even fought against Cleet Cunningham and won.
and the fight doesn't stop there. Next is going to be Cactus Jeff. One of the rudest Sinistras and one of the dangerous criminal from the Wild West. Another character created by Trevor Lickie. He even spits on Hometown Huck's face. Ew. It would have been easier if they had spikes sticking out. Next up, Dwayne Bravitt! This guy got caught in a horrible accident after, uh, well, this ordinary builder got transformed into this man-made psycho. There's a crack in his skull. There we go. Up next, the scary leader of the Seti Straws, Senator Skull! This demon has been through a lot in his past. He vowed vengeance on the entire planet. And he learned the ways of being evil and he informed the evil Sinistras and has one plan to take over the Thumb Wrestling Federation. Up next. Bitsy, Bitsy. Half woman, 